All right, one thing about NASA Glenn here in Cleveland. Yes, that NASA Glenn. They always have something cool that is going on. And lately, they've been testing a small rover that could find a very big part in the future of space exploration. This is definitely more about precision than speed. This is negative five zero. Because this prototype robotic rover is inching its way off of a mock-up lander and toward a very special mission, exploring for water. This is the first rover uh, that is going to be landed on the moon um, by the, the USA. That's right. They're looking for water on the moon. In 2020, NASA announced they'd found water molecules on the moon, and not just in the previously known shadowy crater areas. There are water molecules in sunlit surfaces, too, which was believed impossible. But they don't know how feasible those water molecules may be for human use. And so Viper, the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, was designed. Rovers give us a, uh, an opportunity to look at in situ measurements, so actually looking at the, the surface itself, as opposed to an orbiter which uh, takes measurements from, from space. So uh, the rover's a uh, really important part of the overall exploration architecture. Weighing around 350 pounds, this golf cart sized test rover is putting the design through the paces at NASA Glenn here in Cleveland. At this point in the project, we've completed our critical design review and we're moving into the fabrication of the, uh, the flight vehicle itself. We'll practice this a lot uh, prior to and our uh, system integration and test team and their uh, test plans will be testing this a lot. We'll, we'll be well practiced and ready to go. So there are a, a lot of really interesting objectives uh, to look at around the solar system uh, and we are you know, uh, very excited to be a part of uh, those objectives. And um, so. Yeah, Vipa is going to perform some amazing science and exploration up there. So that is the prototype vehicle that guts the engineering just to get the thing to drive and move around. It will be fitted with the instrumentation and whatnot. That becomes then the final vehicle that will be launched toward the end of 2023 to the moon to start this exploration. It's just mm. incredible when you go there. Every time I have been on that campus, I have like, oh, I, oh, I want to do a story on that. And that's cool. And how about that? And you meet people that are doing just the most incredible things. Yeah. I, that's probably not going to be available for public consumption, is it? That no. vehicle. That's a boss vehicle, though. It is. It? It's it'd be, it'd cool. be a great dune buggy. It's not built for speed. That's <laughs> no, the thing. Yeah. It it's just creeps along, not right? For very speed, slowly. Very slow. It's going to be solar powered. And uh, for two weeks at a time, they'll be able to run experiments mm. and do its thing. And then it has to shut down for two weeks as it goes into total darkness. Mm. Uh, but then it'll come back. So A lot of brain power inside there. It's amazing. A whole lot of brain power. It really is amazing. And to think that this could be what eventually allows deep space exploration, a moon base for humans yeah. on the moon that would then be a launching pad to go deeper and deeper into yeah, space. Pretty crazy.